Welcome to Easy Moto Tim, where I share tips to enhance your motorcycle travel experience. Today we have an advanced topic, working with databases in Basecamp. After using Basecamp for a while, you may notice that your collection of folders, lists, trips, and routes is large. When you install Basecamp, it creates what it calls your default database. This is the database you've been using to store everything you've entered in Basecamp. I think the major advantage of Basecamp is that the maps and database are stored on your computer and you don't need access to the internet to use it. If your computer or hard drive fails and you don't have a backup, you'll lose all your hard work. Let's look at how we can back up all your hard work. Here we are in Basecamp on my desktop. To make a backup, you just go to File, Backup. It opens an Explorer window and suggests a name. You can use the default or you can add to the front of it the name of the database which is default in this case. Remember where it's stored and click Save. So that's all there is to making a backup. Now I suggest that you save it on an external hard drive or on a thumb drive for additional safety. Beside the safety aspect of having a backup, there's another use for your backup file. You can use the file to transfer all your data to another computer. Assuming you have Basecamp on a second computer, you can restore the backup to that computer. Just be aware that when you restore data, it will overwrite all the data in the destination database. Use of this transfer really is just for moving data from an old computer to a new computer. If you find that your collection of folders, lists, routes, and waypoints is getting unwieldy, you can create multiple databases to manage your work. For instance, you might want to separate your personal trips from trips that you create for your writing club, or you might want to keep the trips you show on YouTube separate from your personal trips. Let's look at how to create and use another database. We're in Basecamp on my desktop and we want to create a new database. I've already made a backup so we can restore if we mess things up. To make a new database you go to Edit, Options, General and in the middle of the screen you see a plus sign, a drop down and a right arrow. We're going to click the plus sign and name the database second database and we need to define a location for the database and I'll browse to my documents and to the my Garmin um, folder. Now it's important that you make a new folder under my Garmin each database goes in a separate folder. So I'm going to make a new folder and name it and then I'm going to click OK. Now when I click OK here Basecamp will close and reopen. Basecamp has closed and reopened and now we ha are in second database and it's brand new it's empty so we can add a folder and we can add a list and, and go about creating uh, separate routes from our default now to go back to our default database we go to edit Options, General, and we select Default, and when we click OK, Basecamp is going to close and reopen. And here we are 
back in Basecamp with our default database. What we want to do is share a database that can be used by Basecamp either on the desktop or on the laptop. You may have noticed that the second database I created in the My Garmin folder under My Documents was on Google Drive. The Documents folder is automatically copied to the Google Cloud. Both my desktop and laptop are connected to my Google Drive in the cloud, so changes made on either computer are transferred to the other. This document sharing can also be done with Microsoft OneDrive or Dropbox or any other similar cloud system. Now I'm in Basecamp on my laptop and we want to connect to the second database that we created in the My Garmin folder. So we go to Edit, Options, General, click the plus. We're going to name it Second Database. And we're going to browse to the My Garmin folder. And this time, instead of creating a new folder, we're going to select the folder that we uh, created over on the desktop and click OK. Click OK. Now, when we click OK here, Garmin um, Basecamp will close and reopen. And here we are in Second Database with the uh, folders that we created. So, Let's create a new folder and in there let's create a new list. Let's uh, create a route. We'll do a waypoint, do uh, another waypoint. We'll select them and create the route and there we have added a new route a new folder and a new list. Let's close this uh, copy of Basecamp and go over to the desktop. Here we are in Basecamp on the desktop. Let's go to our database selector and select second database. When we click OK Basecamp will close and reopen. Here we are. There's second database. It has the folders we added on the laptop and it has the route that we added when we were over there. So you can build your trip using your desktop and you can make changes or additions when you're on the road using the same data. Anytime you connect your laptop to the internet, the changes will go up to the cloud and will be sent down to your desktop the next time it connects to the internet. Pretty slick, wouldn't you say? You have the advantage of being able to do your planning without being connected to the internet and the ability to transfer your changes when you are connected. A word of caution, keep only one copy of Basecamp open at one time. Keep Basecamp closed on the machine you're not using or the database changes might not be transferred. I hope you liked this video. These tutorials seem to be popular. So if you have suggestions for other Basecamp topics, please leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video.